Hello, this is Alex um, with my what's turning into a multi-part series on uh, product reviews. I did get a bunch of picks in the mail this week, as you may be able to tell. This is the South Ord Slimline kit, or they may call it the Euro kit. I don't remember what the, um, the exact product name was. Um, should probably look that up. I'll put it in the um, notes. But anyway, these are um, uh, these are a slimmer line pick, um, and when they say slim line, they're talking both about um, something to point with, but another southward pick. Um, both this width here, the width of the shaft, as well as the thickness of the metal. So these are all 0.023, um, uh, what I assume is stainless, but I'm not 100% not sure. Um, but just to show you. Um, which would be different. Okay, I lied. That's a 0 0.26, 0 0.026, it's 0 0.021. Okay, so maybe they have a little bit of variance in them depending on the thick, on the uh, shaft. That's 0.023. Um, this is the one I measured before the video. 0.023, and maybe down towards the tip it. No, nope, 023. So it looks like on, on maybe some of these bigger ones, they went with a slightly thicker metal, which is wise, I'd say. Um, what I like about these is there's a very nice progression of the curves, and that's actually why I bought this set, because I wanted more curves. So let me zoom in on the tips of these guys. I have them arranged in, a, in this order for a reason. Um, I've tried to put them in S, in well, I guess descending order left to right of the severity of the hook. If some of these seem a little bent, it's because they are, and that's my handiwork. Um, so it may be a little bit harder to tell. Um, but uh, they're, they're very nice. Um, okay. Um, so most of these ones are 023, but it looks like there were a couple of um, thicker ones as well. This guy here. Let me just check them again. 025, yeah. Um, but just a great progression. Um, and so as I've been working on like um, <laughs> the EVA um, DPI, which is just has ridiculous warding, um, you can sort of work your way up as you need to get to some of the back pins. Um, and uh, I, I found that, that that is really helpful. Even this crazy deep hook, I've found that useful. Fit and finish. Um, they are actually pretty nicely finished. The top could use a little polishing, but there's no real rough marks on it. So let me just get the noise. So you can hear it's pretty smooth. No, no scratchy sounds. Um, and even the edges are a little bit beveled. I mean, I think a lot of us would probably sand these more aggressively. I have not done anything to these other than maybe scratch them up in locks, but um, I have not polished them or anything. So um, that's how they come from the factory. Um, they look like maybe they've been tumble polished or something, or maybe they hit it with a brush, um, but uh, or wheel, but uh, wire wheel. Um, but yeah, so I bought it for this set of hooks, actually, because I wanted some more thin hooks and I was getting sick of making my own. Um, zooming back out, the other picks you get, are these guys. So these are like offset um, balls and the difference between these two is the amount of the, the, the rake angle on this. So here's the angle on this guy and here's the angle on this guy. So it's a little, I don't know, maybe five degrees more. So you get a little bit more reach with that and the same with the diamond. I think I may have bent this one a little bit, but there's one that's a little deeper and a little shallower. Um, I love offset diamonds. Um, I need to play with these balls some more because I think they may be quite useful. So I will get use out of all of these personally, all of these guys, um, particularly these two. I have a number of their other diamonds and that's a good aspect ratio on a diamond. It's about a two, that's what I call that. Um, I'll talk about that separately. Um, and then there's a ball. Um, uh, yeah, you can see that just fine. Um, I haven't used balls that much. This is actually the first ball picks. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's actually the first one in my collection, uh, as far as I recall. Um, and so uh, I'm going to I'll play with that a little bit. I know they're supposed to be good in wafer locks, so we'll see if that's helpful. Uh, um, 
I like the, I also am pleasantly surprised with the, um, or just pleased with the build quality on them. The, the handles are plain, right? These have no fancy riveted handles or anything. They may have had it in a, uh, you know, more expensive set with handles. If I decide that these are too thin or whatever, I can put some shrink tubing or make some little brass handles for them, but they're just fine as they are, frankly. Um, I use a lot of picks that are just, you know, made out of sheet metal and I don't have any problem. Um, I think it was a really good value. It seems like it was 20 bucks or 25 so, bucks. So, um, great value. Um, excellent construction. I think a little bit of time with some fine sandpaper just to maybe tune up the, uh, the tops a little bit, which have a little bit of a, um, residual from the either stamping or, or, um, it looks like a stamping process, um, to make them. Um, but, um, overall very nicely made. You can pretty much use them out of the box if you're not too picky about having everything mirror polish and, you know, blinding you with the shine. So I think that's what you get there. Um, there may be one other one that I'm, that has gotten lost in my mess of my table, but there you go. So Southord, um, slimline or Euro pick set. Um, I'd say a buy good, good product. Um, very good value. So this is Alex. Thanks for watching. Have fun and please keep it legal. Cheers.